Hey, hey what's going on, people? <laughs> Why do you do that? I'm going to knock you two ways from Sunday. <coughs> Excuse really? me. Could it be three? Shut up. <laughs> Hi, people. How y'all doing? What's going on? Oh, How are y'all? Oh, it's your fellas, the T. Welcome back to a fresh new episode of the T. The T. <laughs> Um, first off, right away, uh, make sure you are going to our, <laughs> stop, you're going to our YouTube page and subscribe, that's youtube.com backslash the T-N-Y-C, that's T-H-A-T-N-Y-C, make sure you go and follow our Instagram, that's at T-H-A underscore T-N-Y-C, uh, make sure you go on our Facebook, facebook.com backslash the T-N-Y-C. And just not in case, spell that one. Just in case, <laughs> if you want to email us, um, you can uh, email us for all your questions, suggestions, advice, comments, all that great stuff. Uh, email us at the t t h e t New York spelled out at gmail dot com. I'm so glad I'm not the only one on this panel that can motherfucking spell. That. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, with all that being said, without. Further ado, let's get into this tea and get ready to spill this tea. So grab your cups. And remember. Girl, wait, pause. Why is your tea different than ours? Because, because my tea always has not to be. Not you, different. bitch. Oh, oh, it's not no. about you, ho. Oh. Because I wanted something I wanted something different. Ooh. Uh-huh. And remember that discretion, discretion is the key before spilling your tea. Even though there is a different. <laughs> I can't deal with you. But it's okay because we are the tea. There's different flavors of tea to serve. Exactly. So, fellas, how was your weekend? Because I didn't see you bitches this weekend. I know. For once, right? For, for once, yes. For, for once, for once, once. <laughs> For once. Yeah, because we've seen each other for the last, what? Couple two weeks. weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. It's been a, a couple while. weeks. It's, it's been a minute. The 60 girls, seconds? 60 seconds, honey. Well, you can do a lot in 60 seconds. They're mm-hmm. back. But they could be disappointed 60 seconds, too. Just saying. Okay, <laughs> so with that being said, um, that's a pump pump. Mm. What have I been up to? Yes, what have you me, been up to Teddy P. Um, <laughs> whatever. Are we back on this again? About to beat Unison you, again? <laughs> for real, we don't need that again. Um, when we do that, I guess. I actually this it's week. Cute, I've been catching up on um, Project Runway All Stars mm-hmm. and we're watching that. I'm loving. Um, the Hosted new... by Lisa Milano? Yes. You know, I love me some Lisa, Lisa Milano. Loving the new. She's um... Yes, she's very charmed. She's forever charmed. No, that's not the host now. Oh, maybe maybe she is the host now. Maybe oh, it's just the All-Stars. season I'm watching. Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's the All Stars. Oh, okay. So she's um, that one. I'm loving this new SWV show. You caught it? Yes. How was I'm it? in it. Like, I'm you, when in did it. SWV get a TV show? I think it was the Sean It just Ashton. came out. It just came. Yeah, it, I think it was I think Sean they Sean got like one or two episodes out. Yeah, because I think this week coming up is going to be the third episode. Yeah. So, um, interesting. I'm hooked on that and I'm in that. And, um, love you, Coco. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> and, um, and then after that, um, I've been going to over to one of my friends' house. Um, his name is Wes. We've been, Playing cards, the yeah, you give the look. <laughs> Wait, you? I wish our radio listeners can see the shade on Lens. I'm just seeing DJ Headache's face. I'm so sorry. If you want to see it, uh, make sure you go to our YouTube page and uh, look at this video. Anyway, so you can over see that his um, but playing cards and playing spades, you know, just like I did earlier <laughs> when we bust your ass. And Shut spades. up. My um, partner just really learned how to play. 320 to negative 90. And no, I was not that partner because I did zero. not play spades. Exactly. I could have played with Peanut. The cat? The cat. Or Gigi. So sad. The other uh, cat. The, the other cat. Or Even Mills. more sad. Mills is not here. Okay. Um, But that's pretty much been it. What y'all been up to? Girl, I worked. Um, Okay, I was supposed to be on vacation this week because, you know, I had time left from last year. But my job begs me to come in and gotcha. on one of my days off um, because there was only, only like one person to close, some shit like that. But I get there and there's like four people, so you know I was over that shit. Hmm. But it's okay because what happened is I just moved that vacation day to, to, to the next week, so I have another day off this week coming up instead. 
Right. So girl, right? Other than that, giant shit. <laughs> My weekend was dry. Oh. It's it's been too cold and then it snowed. I yeah. hate the snow. I was just about to say that. It's I snowed haven't done on us anything twice. because I don't do the snow. And actually, you know, getting here, you know, to when we record the show, <laughs> bitch, I think I'm outside stuck in the spot I'm parked in. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I leave after after I record the show. Yeah. If anything, y'all got a shovel, I need a shovel. You okay. got a shovel? Okay, girl, you ain't no shovel. He ain't no man. <laughs> I know. Not no real man, at least. Excuse me? I mean, you real man, but you ain't girl, real he, man. He ain't no man. <laughs> okay, you Peter big girl. old bottom. Yes, that is your position. No, your position. Don't try it. Hold it up your head here. and cock up your bottom. Anyway, so um, tell me what you do this weekend, honey. I already talked about me. Oh, you girl, talked it? about this late whore I that's just sitting said, next oh, to me. Nothing happened because Did you peep the ride, snowing. though? Did you peep anyway, the ride? can we get into the tea? <laughs> because my weekend was bland. There was nothing happening. It was snow. Let's it was move on. Oh! Somebody's pussy is feeling some type of way. Yes, they are. They All right. Soft so, huh, since you want to get into the tea, let's get, get into, into the tea. tea. Yeah, Everybody, so. grab your glasses and let's get this. Uh, this oh, cups. Get this Speaking sip. Which, I need you to do something. Okay, let's get the sip for this spot of tea. Mm. She's cute. Okay. That was more than a sip. What you mean that was more than a sip? How about you mind your business? How about you do that? Stay in your place. All right. So the first person, girl, uh, is loud. I had Lose to, your inside because, voice. and you know why? Because y'all bitches was on me. I need to see. You gotta get up off me, bitch. Ain't nobody uh, on you. Get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So get off of me. Get off of me. Shut up. You be pulling me in. The first thing, Portia Williams, form who was formerly known as Portia Stewart, Cordell's. Wife. Okay, good. You know, I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, who's also on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, oh, that? That, that Portia. Portia. Yeah, Portia I Portia really that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she actually is putting out a single. Oh, really? I don't she necessarily sings? know if I see Portia, like, really trying to Wait. get on a mic and... Wait, no, wait, I don't. Wait, wait. She sings? Rewind. <laughs> Is this the same one that did Gone with the Wind Fashion? No, okay, that's okay. Kenya no, Moore. That's Kenya. Okay, okay. That that's Kenya Moore. But um, she's supposedly gonna come out with a five song EP, <clears throat> and the name of the EP is supposed to be called Flatline. <laughs> that's going to be her career, Flatline. Girl, that was her marriage in Flatline. And see, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, was it her marriage or is it going to be this EP? Or, or is it, it going to be both? Flatline. I'm a little parched, sorry. Oh, clearly. The next parched moment, I guess you could say, <laughs> since we're going to keep this uh, desert very dry, is Ashanti. Now... <laughs> Before we even get into I'm it, sorry, Deshaun. Listen, and I was gonna tell you, <laughs> me and Deshaun is so crazy. We spoke earlier today, and he had watched our last episode, um, Love Games, and he was like, "Y'all stays talking and badgering Ashanti." He was like, "Please don't do it." And I was like, "We gonna talk about her again today." Yes. He was like, "No." But, but you know what? Though by us talking about her, we're, we're making, making her relevant. relevant. Boom. And in some aspect, yes. form, hopefully, she getting some type of. Maybe we Play. turned a new fan on to her. I don't Maybe know. Maybe so. Um, so, y'all know she's had the ultimate year of the pushback with this album, Braveheart, that's supposed to come out. It's supposed to be trying to come out for two years now. Girl, I don't it know. It ain't coming I'm... out. She finally set a date. Oh, she did? Yeah. So, which is March 18th. And watch on March 17th. I'm pushing it back <laughs> another six months. We'll see. But Ashanti, it would be nice. Even though I don't want to hear your music because, quite frankly, to me, you sound like a, a, a loud, squandering duck. And I just rather see what Ashanti's wearing. Yeah, yeah. Not for nothing, the only album I actually liked by Ashanti was Declaration. So it can't be as good as that one. So this one that she's, yeah, her, I guess her last album. Okay. The only thing that I can give Ashanti, the new Ashanti, this Ashanti, is that this Ashanti is beat. This Ashanti is cost. city. This Ashanti is in the right realm physically and mm -hmm. appearance-wise and visually. Yep. 
But musically, um, she's just have box. a seat. Like, it's perfectly fine. You could still be gorgeous and sit. You know what it is? I think her and Ciara had the same promotion team. Well, obviously, Ciara won. But Ciara's promotion team is a little, <laughs> little bit better. I'm not Ciara. I'm going to say Brandy. My bad. Sorry. Brandy. Whoever Brandy. I said last week. <laughs> okay. Whoever I, said, whoever I said last week. That's the girl I was talking about. Whoop to whoop to whoop. I can't. Okay, so y'all ready for this? Patty LaBelle. Girl, you better get your um your, your <laughs> juice on the fly. This just in. Patty LaBelle um basically said that whoever all these little heifers are running around calling themselves divas. Now, y'all do know Patty <laughs> LaBelle is, I would say, the ultimate true mother of the shade. Yes. She is the shady boots queen to the most, to the highest, to the greatest. <laughs> How I think. But she, what was you about to say, Diva? I was about to say she throws old woman shit. I love it though. Yeah. I can't wait to I cannot wait. Until you're her age? A bitch now. Until I I'm confident enough to throw shit like that. Whoa. I need to be her age. I just need to be confident enough. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually came from um, Pride Source. They asked her, they said to her, um, for you, what does it mean to be a diva? And Patti LaBelle pretty much said, the word is so use- is used so loosely nowadays, mm. especially. It's like a loose bottom. And she doesn't mm. even consider herself to be a diva. Uh, and she said, because all these little heifers who can't sing. Girl, talk to screen, girl, talk to this, which is true. All these little heifers <laughs> who can't sing are called divas so i kind of agree with her though but she gave examples didn't she um the examples that she gave was well what she said was um it doesn't mean anything to me and probably to some of the other ladies who would have been doing it for as long as i have um like gladys knight aretha franklin and um donnie warwick um, Dion warwick. Dion warwick not donnie donnie because she a man <laughs> <laughs> That's a true man in spirit. Um, but she was just pretty much saying that she speaks for herself when it comes to that. But I agree with her. You got these artists around, these new artists running around now, and they really think they divas. Like, they like Molly Sorry is thinking she's the new black, the, she's going to be the next person to replace Beyonce. Non twerking ass. Maybe that's in or the. Non ass twerking. Clearly, that's crickets. <laughs> those, those are the dreams that are in the bud that she rolls up in smokes. Clearly. No, she, she smoke, must be smoking it smoke with Drake. Or something like that. Well, I mean, clearly we all know Drake smokes. <laughs> He's a chief master. Pretty much. Now, my the next portion that we have oh, is Jesus. the bad boys. These three boys been running around and they just wild right now. And they get locked up like crazy left I'm and right. Locked up. They won't, won't let me out. They don't want to get up because they trying to... Never mind. Now, Social Boy. Social Boy. Let me not. Let me not do that. Tell him. Social Boy got arrested. Where else other than Atlanta? Of course. Hello. Mm -hmm. Or he was tricking. Well, he may have been tricking. I don't know. Nah, he was pimping. You sure he was pimping? Tell them why. Okay. No, you're right. He was pimping. He got arrested on a gun charge and also a drug charge. So, you're right. He was pimping. He was pimping. He was pimping. He, he was out there. He's out, he's out trying to get his coins. Pistol whipping them hoes. <laughs> Bitch, give me my money. Give my money, ho. And now he's in jail doing the soldier boy. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> Ooh. You nasty. Oh, doing the soldier boy. <laughs> then that, Justin Bieber. Let's talk about him for a minute. The Beaver. The now, Beavers. the Beavs. The Beavs. <laughs> Justin Bieber got arrested again. And not again. No, it's first time. It's the first offense. This is his first, this is first, first offense. First offense. But like he went all the way with it. Like uh, he did not care. He went. He he wrapped them charges up. Yes, he was like, listen, I'm gonna swipe do it. I'm this, gonna do swipe this that, shit. Right. Swipe that. He just, bitch, I got a black card for a reason. So yes. so he got arrested on what DUI charges? DUI charges. I like that song by Sierra. <laughs> Drag racing. Ooh, that's gonna be his new album. Driving without a license. As well no, as an expired license, that's what it was. An expired license? An expired license. And as well as two other charges. Um resisting arrest and something else. Whatever. 
needless, needless to say, he got arrested. So when he um went for to hear his bail, the judge only um set bail at twenty five hundred dollars. That's it. Like like who does that? Girl, it's and Justin Bieber. He got that in the bank. Y'all should have tried to get them coins from him. Not even that. You don't got all these charges, and now you're only twenty five hundred dollar bail. Like, but the thing that I like most about this whole situation is once he was released, you know, on his bail. He did something really reminiscent of what Michael Jackson did after he came out of court um, with his last allegations of the child molestation, where he you know he went to his SUV and he climbed to the roof of the car and then he waved to his fans. That's right. I did see that picture on Instagram mm -hmm. where he did the side by side. I don't know why he did that though. And he really, I guess, was trying to portray and make it seem like, like I said, these, these. Well, like Patty said, these these new up and coming artists are trying to be exactly something that they're not running around causing a muck. And some of y'all is running a muck if you understand the difference. Mm. No, you got to understand the difference because I had to understand the difference and learn what the difference between the two are, and it's clear. Um, <laughs> and the last is Young Jeezy, which he hasn't been heard about in a while. And the reason why you probably haven't heard about him is because his ass keep running in and out of jail. Clank, clank. Okay. Silver bracelets. So, Young Jeezy, who's also Mr. J. Wayne Jenkins, got arrested in Alpharetta, Georgia. Stop you looking, feeling it? Stop looking for me. Why? You <laughs> wine, wine pot it? Wine pot it. Wine pot it. <laughs> Uh uh. Um, he got arrested. Girl, you want him the cocky? <laughs> Does he want? Gladly. I'm sure you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, he got arrested in Alfredo, Georgia. Um, Alfredo, Georgia. Not Alfredo. That's not what we about to have because that is what we about to have. That's on the menu for tonight. Exactly. Good. But not Jeff Busy's cooking. Yes. Out. He's on the the. He's he's on the um. He's on burn on one and two right burn now. Burn on one and two. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, young Jeezy, he got arrested in Alfreda, Georgia, um, from an alarm that went off at his house, which was an altercation with his girlfriend. Damn. Who, who, who He done fought with his son and his girlfriend now? What the fuck? I mean, young Chris got mad high just now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, about go. Young Jeezy and more so, and I feel bad that I'm even reporting it and talking about it, but why are we keeping Young Jeezy alive? Like, I understand that there are Young Jeezy fans out there, but why are we keeping Young Jeezy alive and relevant? The only news that we talk about and speak about Young Jeezy is his ass going back and forth to jail. Mm -hmm. Who's making any money off of that? Nobody. Nobody. So let's break out our shovels and Nobody. let's uh, put him to rest. You stupid. <laughs> 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 and then Mr. C opens up. He came out the closet. Girl, he been out the closet. Yes, he kind fell of. out. Kind, kind of. of. Uh, no, he was pushed out. You you sure? No, the girls drug him out. <laughs> So, <laughs> Mr. C uh, did an interview with GQ Magazine, basically opening it up, sharing the stories about that he's had with the sex encounters that he his had, and his prostitutes, and... His sex capades. Pretty much. So, if y'all aren't familiar, let's catch y'all up real quick. Well, the actually, Mr. C if you scene. guys really, if you guys watch the show... If, yeah, if oh, but you know, I thought like we, like we have listeners who haven't even seen, haven't heard the show yet. Um, what was it, back in uh, uh, first season? I, I think it was. Yeah, maybe October. towards the end of the first season, yeah. beginning of second so, season, around October or so um, of last year. Um, Mr. C got caught with um, a tranny, and um, we were supposed to have that person on the show, and she flaked out. Even though she that she got caught with him, Prior. like two years ago. Yeah, the year before that, actually. And then uh, a friend of mine who I've known for a long time now, and you, I think you might know him. Oh yeah, we because do. Julius knows him. You do know both people. Um, Rich knows him. Bimbo, 
And um, and y'all probably have heard of him. He's um, a YouTube uh, reality as well. Um, personality, excuse me. Um, Bimbo Winehouse um, actually put up a video about that. So, and he got caught with him too. Huh? Yes. But Bimbo actually like recorded the whole conversation in the car and everything. Like, it was That's crazy. what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yes. like... So, Mr. C is basically spilling his teas and saying about how he just couldn't stop. And once it started, it became his life. And he didn't know what to do. And I'm picking like, up all these tr transgenders. But he's never actually admitting that he's gay. But Any, I'm, Anyone. Well, and he's probably not going to admit that he's gay or likes boys or whatever. Because he likes in that... In his eyes, he's still with a female because they're tra they're, they're trannies, which is true. You know, they're they're women on the outside. I mean, you know, the plumbing and everything is different, but you know, or at short face, layman terms, at face value, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but at face value, they are women. So in his eyes, he's still with a woman. Well, let me tell y'all this. Mm -hmm. He basically told the magazine, um, he said, the best way I can explain it is that I was so knee deep into doing it that it became a part of me. You know, one plus one equals two. Really? Now he's still in love with Beyonce. Really? <laughs> you get horny, go out, go get your shit off. It became a part of my routine. Girl, so shut up. I'm not even going to say it. Um, <laughs> Mr. C, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't believe you and I, I honestly think that no one in New York believes him like we clearly know you just love you some trannies and, and it's okay there's nothing wrong it's with okay it. just understand who you are and what you are yeah and that's that and that concludes your spot of tea DJ Headache music what's up why them with the music brethren well let's start it off with an old favorite who's back, and I haven't heard him in a good it's long been while. You. If you remember Seven Days and um, the other song, um, Fill Me In. Fill Me In, yes, that was my shit. Craig David is back, yes, and he has this song called Loyal Remix. Okay. What did y'all think about that when y'all heard that earlier? Go ahead, Keith, Teddy. No, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, because um, no, because I've heard this song months ago Ooh. by Chris Brown, and Ooh. Chris Brown has a East Coast and West Coast version of the same exact song. Oh, just saying. That sounds like a, a moment. Well, I actually like this version with Craig. Girl, it's the same version, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just someone different singing. Okay, well, I would just say I like the song. How about that? I can't listen to Chris Brown sing no more. Girl, trust you me. You listen, listen to, to this song, line. you'll listen to the Chris Brown song. It sounds exactly the same. Well, Boom. different changes of pitches here or there, but. Well, next up, we have Britney Spears featuring Will I Am. It's Britney, bitch. It should be easy. It should be easy? It should be easy. Okay. It was. Was it? It, it, was. it went in real easy. Okay, here's my problem. Well, here's my problem. problem with this? Here's my problem. Okay. You got a problem with Britney. Girl, we got a problem with Britney. I. Like the song. Mm -hmm. Better. The song was cute. Uh -huh, it was. My problem is What's the problem? I'm sick of Britney being on her whiny and uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm 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 sick of hearing no, all that. No, her, that yeah, stuff. cut all that whiny auto tune and cut it out. Like I'm done. I I can't take any more of that from Britney. I we've had that for how many albums now? Like I, I'm sick of it. She need to go back to her like her first album. She sounds like honestly a whining, slow, retarded child begging for food. Listen, Britney. Should That's what I think she sounds like singing. No. I think Britney should for a while. No disrespect to any you know Britney, Britney fans. Um, no <laughs> disabled children or people <laughs> out there. Like <laughs> let me let me completely you know clear the air on that one. I don't want anyone to be offended about the comment that I just said, but that's what she sounds like. Yeah. But no, what I think she should do, because Britney has this Las Vegas show going on, right? What she used to do is, for a couple of years, and I'm saying years, they'll come out with no new music. Just stay in Las Vegas, perform those songs that made you who you are today, get that money from Las Vegas, and raise your kids. 
And oops, she did it again. Do the Celine Dion thing. But at the same do time, the, do the Barbara Streisand thing. She can't. Stay there and just do your thing. She can't stay there. Because those people don't come out. No, no new music now. Because something had got she reported can't. that she Could. actually did better than Celine Dion run and Elton um, John. John's run in mm. Las, Las Vegas. Mm. And the report actually came back that it was false. Oh. And she did way worse than the both of them put together oh, in Vegas. So you can't even withstand being in Vegas to make enough money to support your children. Damn. Sorry, Leave it God, alone. Just go you. sit down. I'm mm. sick of her. And last but not least, you know my reggae fans out there. Maka Diamond. Maka who? Maka Diamond. Maka Diamond. Maka Diamond. Damien. Maka Diamond. Oh, Maka Diamond. So you gonna Maka Diamond? R.I.P. for the cocky. For the R.I.P. for the cocky. Okay, now, <laughs> why would I want to R.I.P. to my penis? Like, <laughs> right? Why would I want to bury? To be we got a couple else. of good years. I, I, know, of 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 I know that, but you know, why would I want to bury my 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 tool? But we still got a couple <laughs> of good years going. What's going on? <laughs> Why am that, I, why that Viagra's I'm, not working. Girl, you back here over there, maybe. <laughs> just for oh, oh, I just realized you listened to me. What? Oh, it looks good. Girl, shut up. Oh, it looks it's good. My face. It looks good. Anyway, back good. to R.I.P. for the cocky. R.I.P. for the cocky. I like. I know Andrew's gonna go off to this. I I went off. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's a it's a good one. I like. Yeah, it. I didn't see Kevin Wine to it yet. Nah, I got I gotta hear it again. <laughs> yeah, he gonna be up against the wall. I'm on it. Mm. He gonna wine Pundy wall. Uh, anyway, is that it? That's it for music. Oh, now okay. hitting over to fashion. And I'm gonna try. I have a lot of fashion, hey, so I'm gonna try to make it really quick. Um, so you know it's award seasons, and tonight the Grammy Awards. Actually, the Grammy Awards are starting like right now. Four minutes hope, ago, and I hope um, it's being recorded. Yes, it's being recorded because we have to watch. Oh yes, it's being recorded. With our. So you know, over the weekend, you know, the celebrities were out and about at the pre-Grammy parties, and the Sorry. first Greek. Pre um, Grammy party they were at was the Rock Nation party sponsored by Mac Viva Glam. <laughs> Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Mac Viva Glam. Um, the first person I want to talk about at this party is mm. Rihanna. She came for the girls and oh, tried boy. to slay them in this Ultra Zara Spring 2014 striped blouse and striped skirt. Blouse. The look gave me very blouse. much beachy. And it works for her. Like it was, it's really, really cute. Like, what did you guys think about the look? I only liked her hair. Okay. Like her hair? I said I only liked her. Hair. I, I said you only liked her hair. I I thought the outfit was cute. I just think Rihanna should just be a model instead, right? I don't need her to sing. Yeah. Okay. Because when she when she's fashion, fashion she shows up on time. Yeah, always on time. No, From, she was late for one of her performances. Girl, all of her performances. Exactly why I just said when she's fashion, <laughs> she shows up on time. Yes. Um, this next person is a nod for you, Miss Rita Ora. Yes. Um, she turned it out while rocking a fresh off the runway, Alexandre Voltaire Spring 2014 Couture Golden White Look. Clearly, the Rock Nation girls were showing. They were. Well, that night. Sorry, that tonight. They clearly were. And then, uh, and I'm only talking about him in this category oh. because I think he's super <laughs> sexy. It's Mr. Ti. Oh, for sure. Um, he showed up in a a coot, um t-shirt, jeans, and a pair of red sneakers. Like I said, he's just sexy. And, and bird. bird. Trade real. You forgot the Trade. birds. Oh, yeah, and you, yo, he was just a rooster. You, you gotta look really close I to the picture. I know it's a rooster, but I'm just saying Kevin called it a bird. Supposedly, according from that picture that was um, leaked, he mm. ain't got much rooster. Mm. It's more like pigeon. <laughs> oh, bird. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, child. So the, next part of, <laughs> so the next part of the clubs we're at um, this weekend was Clive Davis's programming party. And Miss Jennifer Hudson ate. In this eighteen hundred dollar Christopher King she elastic ate. panel color block dress, Somebody ate the her. dress oh, no. is snatched. Her I'm hair, on the other hand, too bad. After all that weight she done lost, she she ate. Listen, girl, ate means she showed out. She was cute. Girl, go away. I don't know why we always got to give a lesson. <sighs> yeah. 
Um, Miley Cyrus, since we talked about her earlier, somehow. The twerking away. queen. Um, please. How um, dare you try and give her such a title? Yes. <laughs> the nerve. She's twerking in training, so. <laughs> Okay. Um, she she showed up to Clive's party wearing her Ellen DeGeneres hair, um, a white CK dress, um, a pink fur-like coat with oversized wood-like buttons, and then the best part of the outfit was her mom's 1990 chunky heel shoes. Okay. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres hair. Miley, you tried it. Definitely tried. I don't see it, honey. And then again, because I said he's super sexy, you know, I I would do the fuck out of him. Um, Mr. Ti, um, he showed up at the class party as well. Did you see how big that smile okay. and, got? It um, went. <laughs> he let all the straight boys know. That not only can the girls and the girls, that you know, that you are. And the I are. And the I are. We're sequins, because his blazer was decked out with nothing but sequins. And Cash no shade, I want this, I want this blazer. I want that whole outfit. He showed up in all black and everything. And as always, um, for our radio listeners, you can always go to our Instagram page. That's T-H-A underscore letter T N-Y-C. And check out the pictures. Leave a comment. Like the pictures. And turn that blue button green. Pow! <laughs> Um, so the next thing I want to do for fashion is give you guys a little fashion update. Um, last season, season two, um, I talked about two things, um, about Jay-Z. One, that he had his fragrance coming out, which is called Jay-Z Gold. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, you know, it came out just in time for the Christmas holiday. It's a you know, Christmas that's holiday like season. a hot mess? It was, it's, you know, no, it's okay. Oh, okay. But? But it's just okay. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it at that, because we don't talk about I the king of the queen. I don't want to go... In on Jay because you know that's you know that's you don't royalty. talk about the king or the queen. Um, but Jay Z, but apparently you guys love his fragrance because it's doing extremely well. Um, and then it's doing so well that he decided to add a gift for purchase, um, which is called mm. the Power Weekend Bag. Um, so check out your local retailers, you know Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Barney's, and go check it out. Also on Jay Z news. Um, I, as you guys, as I told you guys for the holidays, he was also teaming up with Barney's for their holiday in New York collection. Oh yeah, that's right. And Childs, I I know you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm in, I'm in a mistake. Hold on, me back up. So if you guys remember in the news, um, there was this big old racism scandal, like yeah. where the, where Barney's was profiling this um this young gentleman who brought a was it a Hermes? A Hermes or, or belt. Or the Grandma belt. No, I believe it was, it was a Hermes belt. One of the two. Um, and it was uh, two other items. Yeah. Well, well they were profiling him. They, basically, bottom line is, they thought he didn't have the money to buy the belt. He thought his credit card was stolen. Um, they stopped him, and then there was some big loss going on. Well, there were calls for Jay-Z to pull his brand from Barney's. And Jay-Z was like, hell the fuck, no, I'm not going to make this money. <laughs> and apparently you guys was right with him because the collection in only two months sold over a million dollars worth of merchandise. Get the fuck! As reported by the New York Daily News. Um, I and did a job at Rock Nation. It's done so well in only <laughs> two months that they're talking about making it a permanent thing. Like, yeah, like Jay-Z's gonna pop, like, permanently be, you know, become some kind of fixture on some level within the Barney's, you know, department stores. Yo, you gotta give it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z is about that money. That's why him and the queen, and the king, are... The billionaires they are today. And the princess. Oh, and the princess. Well, girl, no, that girl ain't do nothing. All she did was just be born. Well, with her hold nappy up. <laughs> They got just, a song after her, so she. They have two she, songs after her. Okay, actually. thank you. Let's get, okay, let's so get together. She's part of it. Let's not talk about my daughter. But like did I said, hear, wait. And sidebar. Then, hold on. My job business. Wait. Did you my hear that? Business. Wait. Go that's ahead. My story no, about no, Memphis Bleak. Claiming oh. to have been the Girl, father. Girl, that was not a. That was an oh, Instagram joke. Sit down. <laughs> sit, <laughs> bitch. Listen, you gotta wait. You been on this panel for the tea. You should know to check and double check your faxes. Okay. You should have known that was just a hoax joke. Okay. He did not claim they kid, Miss Blue, <laughs> on his taxes because he ain't making no money, so he can't file no taxes. That's my boy Miss Blue now. Come on. Girl, anyway, N- name his last song. Next. Next. And what year did that come out? What year is this? 
Exactly. Oh, girl, Lord. we're in a whole new century now. I can't. I can't. Um, and then the last part of fashion is we're gonna. Last week I called it who wore it best, but I didn't like that name because it's been done so many times. <laughs> so we're gonna play. She tried it. She tried it. And the first. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> The first group of people, because it's a group of people, that we're going to talk about is Leanne Rhymes versus Kim K versus Jay Hyde. Um, they are all wearing a gray wrap dress by Donna Karen. Panel, who do you think wore it best? You know, I always say Jennifer Hudson. She looked the best out of all of them. I'm going to agree. Jay Hyde, to me, is snatch. And everything is proportional on her. Um, it just, the first one... She ain't got no titties. Leon one Rimes? The, yeah. The yeah. one in the middle. Kim K. titties are too big. Kim K. Yeah. And. J. Hud. J Jennifer Hudson is like, it's just perfect. It's like the three little bears. Like, you know. <laughs> I, this yeah. one is too small. I'm this done. one is too big. <laughs> this one is just That's right. right. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to disagree with both of you guys. Yes, I know. Only because of the location of where the dress was worn. See, this is one thing about fashion. There, fa I know fashion is very universal, but there is also a time and a place to wear your shit. And I, the wrap dress is really, the wrap dress that they had on was an everyday dress. True. Kim K, in my opinion, wore it the best because the bitch was just out shopping. But she looked a sloppy, big old elephant, ridiculous, big old fat, big old titty <laughs> mess. Them while she's bitty. out. Don't get me Jennifer wrong, Kim K's new body is fab. It's just not for that wrap dress. But actually, that's what a wrap dress is for. A wrap dress is for a person of every size, big, medium, or small, which is what we just actually Well, her wrap yeah, yeah. ain't wrapped right. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I personally believe that Kim K wore it the best because she wore the dress for what it was purposed for. I'm tired of seeing these girls out in the club <laughs> in these t-shirts talking about, oh, it's a dress. No, because your ass is fat and your tits is big. That is not a dress. It's a it's a shirt. Um, but no, it's she wore she wore the dress. <laughs> she wore the dress I was supposed to wear. She wore it every day. It was very easy breezy. The hair was cute. Easy breezy cover girl. Yes, it it was. <laughs> I love it. Jennifer now Jennifer Hudson. She was snatched in it, but she was out at an event, and that that dress is not for the event. I'm sorry. She she just was being lazy right there. It's like she just like girl. I don't have to wear. Let me get this. Throw it on and go. Oops, sorry. That's okay. Um, and then the last person or people I want to do for She Tried It. She Tried It. Is Ashanti versus Kelly Rowland. Now, Deshaun, I am so sorry. <laughs> okay? Okay. Because you're, cause your girl about to get chopped again. Um, they are both wearing a pink dress with an asymmetrical ruffle detail. Now, I have no idea what the fucking name of this, what the fuck, well, I have no idea what the designer of this dress is, who the designer is. So I couldn't figure it out. You guys can Google it and let me know. Because I couldn't figure it out. But, panel, what do you think? Ashanti tried it. Kelly wins. DJ? You already know my piece. Neither one of them. I'm sorry. Ooh, but, what? Yeah, because, Girl. I'm like I said, I'm not a big Ashanti fan. And Ooh, the she was, was okay. I like Kelly more, but the way she looked. I know you said her, her hair was an updo, but it looked short. And it just don't look right on her. Um, it's girl. just like she just took a curtain, just threw it on, and put flowers on it. That's I what it looked slapped like. in the face. I think Ashanti may have had a chance to possibly even try and catch up to Kelly and eat her if she had on a different shoe. Yes. Um, okay, so real quick. Um, like, like Teddy said, Ashanti, she tried it. She tried. She, she tried. And she, she, but she did a really good effort at trying. She but could try Kelly harder. just upsteps her. Um, like you said, I think had Ashanti had a different shoe on, and maybe her hair done a little differently. Yeah, it matter. She might have bested Kelly. And if Kelly had her hair down, it would have been for Kelly. But no, I, I, and again, like I said, with the last piece, Kelly was out at an event at a red carpet event. Yeah, hair and I up. think she was styled perfectly yes. for that event. Hair up. I know you like it with long hair, so I know you're a little yeah. biased to that. Yeah. But you long hair, don't care? Yeah, long mm -hmm. hair, don't care. All right. And Whip that's it, it for T Fashion. Ew. Girl. Work out. All right, so we're going to get into something that's um, 
new to us and new to you, this is before tea. This is uh, where we get into something, whether it be advice, your questions, whatever, before we get into the, the tea. tea. So, um, do we want to say... Do you need the question? Yes. Um, uh, pull, it up, pull it up, pull it up. For this portion, just to let you guys know, if you have any questions you want to ask us personally as a whole, relationship questions, advice, whatever, you can email that to the T, T H E T, the letter T, New York spelled out at gmail.com. Um, do we want to say this yeah, comes, or just read it? Yeah, read she, it? she already is given rights to say. Who she okay. Wants. This comes from one of our viewers, um, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. What's Hi. going on? What's going on, Carson? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, we're friends. Whatever. Exactly. Um, and her question goes as follows. Hey, guys. So, I got a friend who's been doing really big things with uh, his radio show and YouTube show. And I'm so proud of him. But as of New Year's, he just, like, fell off the face of the earth. I've text, called, and Facebooked him, but got a real blah response on Facebook, which is so not like him at all. My birthday's coming up, and I want him to join me, but the communication is non-existent. I tried to contact him, and, you know, you can only contact someone but so much before you, like, fuck it. We not fucking, I'm not about to chase you, you tell. So... How do I get my friend back? Um, who wants to go first? You can take that. I can take that. Um, I, the way I see it is, it all depends on y'all relationship as friends and the level that y'all are on. Um, if things are good between y'all and y'all are tight, you know, y'all are open with one another. I think it would be fine. I, I. I, and I think you have to have an open mind about it and understand that we as people, everybody, things change for everybody at different times of their lives. And with you being friends, sometimes your friends can become distant for a period of time depending on where the, their life is taking them. So I think your friend is still there. Your friend is going to come back and... I would honestly say your friend never left, pretty much. It's just understanding that y'all both got lives and y'all do things. That's what I think. DJ? I definitely agree with that because I have actually been in that situation where... That's not me. To me and my friend, you know, was distant for a very long time. And it's like we picked up where we left off, like nothing's changed. So in that aspect... Just because they're not answering now doesn't mean that anything has changed. It could be that, yeah, they, they're busy with work and all this other stuff going on. But if your communication, like you said, Teddy, the friendship, however that relationship is, they've never left. Yeah. Steve Okay, so with me, um, if you're my friend, you're my friend. There's no gray area. That's sure enough the truth. I can tell you that um, from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter what you go through, no matter what I go through, at the end of the day, I am going to be there for you. Um, so I say that with um, maybe your friend has gone through something. Um, maybe their phone got cut off or maybe um, they lost their job. I don't even think about anything like that. Or either. maybe they had... A chance to write you back. They, they wrote you back, right? Yeah, wrote, okay. them, wrote, wrote them back on Facebook. Or, you know, maybe, they, maybe they had a chance to write you back, but they were only limited to a certain amount of time they could to, to actually write back. So they gave you a very like, hey, I'm here, I'm okay kind of response. A very short yet direct short response. To, short to um, the yeah. But the best thing I think you should do is to just stick by your friend. Like, even if you're not physically by your friend, be there in, in spirit, be there, you know, for your friendship. Because, listen, at the end of the day, a real friend is so hard to, to find. To find. Uh -huh. Like, Preach. it's so easy to say, like, oh, 
that's my friend. You know, because you guys hang out, you guys go to the club, da da da. But at the end of the day, when some shit goes down, are they really there for you? Like, okay. You know, those like, those are people that like, oh, you're only you know a friend for the moment or a friend for a reason. But if you have someone you're who's like a friend, friend who's like your friend like unconditionally, it doesn't matter. If you guys don't talk like like me and my best friend um, Caesar, um, we went a whole year without talking. And when we, you know, did, like, get up and talk again, it was like no time had passed. Like, there was no awkward moment. It was just like, oh, like, no time had ever passed. So, like I said, just, you know, stick with your friend and, you know, be there, basically. Yeah. But, like, I, like we all said, your friend has never left. Oh. All right, y'all. So let's get into this tea. Let's get into this tea. What is this tea? That we ready to spill. I always got tea left. Don't worry. Why are you always worry about my tea? Yes, girl. Facts. Okay. Well, your tea. I can't even see your tea. Okay, can't even my see. Tea is That's good. because it's probably I ain't he tea. probably ain't, his tea should be my tea. Mm. Huh? Huh? According to the teas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this week's tea. Yours, mine, or ours? ours. Dealing with you're in a relationship and y'all are about to get married. Whose last name do you take? Do you take the person that you're with? Do both y'all take your um your last name or do both y'all take each other's last name and or hyphenate? Do you, or do you hyphen? Do you hyphenate it? What do you do? And it's works, for, it's works for everybody. It's works for okay, you know, the me, gays, the straights, okay, let me the dogs, the cats, the puppies. <laughs> you know, it works for everybody. I can say this. In my last relationship, fortunately, Mm-mm. if Mm-mm. anything would have progressed with that Uh-oh. as far as marriage, we wouldn't have to worry about changing last names because it's the same last name. So that in is that true. in that as- same last name? Yes, it was. Yeah, we had the same last they name. Had the same last so name. in that aspect, it really wouldn't have mattered. Now, when you think about it, I'm a person where if you're married, you should take the husband's name. But in the gay community, I guess, you know, know okay. yeah, it's like, like, who's the husband? <laughs> it's like, you know, doesn't really matter whose name you take because it's always going to be the more dominant one, the top or whatever, who's going to want the uh-uh, bottom. Pause, what? Pause, pause, Wait, pause, pause, let, let me finish. finish. Let me finish. Okay, because I'm They're always going to want the okay, you they're always, <laughs> you they're always gonna want the the bottom to take their name, but knowing how everybody's mindset is, that everybody's an individual, nobody's gonna change their name. So in my case right now, okay, so okay, two reasons. I personally <laughs> would say that if I was going to do something like that, I would probably hyphen it. Okay. So you would take their last name and keep your last name too? Yeah. Okay. So can I go on you real quick? Okay. Well, oh, we're gonna God. we're gonna backtrack to this top okay. bottom thing. Okay. Bring it. Bring that rosy background. Because you said generally the top is the more dominant one, right? Yes, generally. And, and then okay. you're going to say, and what's the bottom to have their last name? Generally. Now, I know a lot of bottoms that are very dominant in a relationship. Thank you. Okay. And I know a lot of bottoms that they run that relationship. Hello. They are the pants, they are the shoes, they are the bag, they are the fucking wallet in that relationship. Skirt and it all. Okay. <laughs> so that I don't. That's why. That's that why part I of your statement. Generally, that part of your statement I don't agree with. Second, what's the second part you said? Because bitch, I'm going for it. What the other reason? I think you did both. I did. Okay, I did both. Okay. But yeah, that's why I said. said generally, oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't happen all the time. I said generally, but it's not like an everyday kind of thing. Of course, it's gonna be more masculine bottoms. Of course, they Jessica, are. Girl, I don't but know. I'm just saying, generally, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> but it's not gonna happen. Okay. Um, Teddy. Oh. I can't see. Oh, do you Teddy. need a minute still? I can't see Teddy with somebody else's yeah, last name. Let me, name. Let me come, bring bring okay. that Rosie back. Okay, so I'll skip it around. It wouldn't be Teddy P without having that P there. Okay, well, I'm a, sure. let me say what I'm going to say, and then it, it, you, you can see how that will still work. Um, I think out of all of us, I think we're the one who's ever engaged, right? No, I wasn't engaged. No? Okay. Well, okay, whatever then. So, um, <laughs> being that we you know when I was with my ex and we got engaged, um, you know, we actually had the, the, the talk and the conversation of, you know, what was going to happen with, you know, with the last names and everything. 
So we agreed upon, because you know, we, you know, we're supposed to be starting a family and everything, um, that what we were going to do was we were going to both go for the hyphen. Basically, he was going to take my last name and I was going to take his last name. So it was going to be, oh God, my last name plus his last name. And then his last name plus, plus my last your... name. I ain't going to say what my last name is. If you, know my, if you know who I am, you know what my last name is. But, um, yeah, we were going to do that. We are going to go for the, the double hyphenation. So basically, my name would have been da 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 his last name and then his name would have been da 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 his last name and then my last name or you know my last name you know however it goes and um so yeah in that case it works we kind of we just kind of solved the issue of like okay who was going to take whose last name like we kind of avoided that whole fight we were like you know we agreed to like just compromise and see i like that and i get that and that's what I would oh, want to do. Sorry, I'm not done. And then also we we also decided that because like we were like you know we want we would want our kids no matter how we got our kids to be part of even even adoption or not be part of both our families. So by doing the hyphen on both ends, they would have both our last names. See, and I'm glad you said that, and I'm glad you added that too. Yeah, because that's the other reason. Yeah, and then go ahead. Because I would want to do that. I, I I think especially being in the gay community um that is something i would want to do but i would want it where both of our last names if we're gonna hyphenate they need to match on paper and look the uh, same, same way so yeah. it's either your last name is first and then my last name and that's how it is for both of our names and then that's how we were gonna do it we were, or we were going my first forward. and then his last and that's how it is for the both of us and then how, how we were going to do it was we were going to do it alphabetical order. Oh, but and then see. So but I would it would end up me being my keeping my last name first and then adding his last name because of how the names the, the names went fell in alphabet. But it would have been fine though. And then my other thing is, will it sound right? Because I have a very big issue. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, I a name for me must flow. If it don't flow. You're whack. You're corny. I don't, I don't, there's just something weird, maybe possibly different about you. My name flows, and I need it to continue. No, bitch, there's something weird about you, but it's okay. Well, I mean, I know there's, there's I a lot weird about me. I but. accept all weird absence <laughs> of your weirdness. So I guess it's a total consistent that we always prefer our hyphenation. Well, okay, okay, I'm going to backtrack to this. Uh-oh. Like I said, when I was with my ex, and we were engaged, at that point in time for that that's relationship... That's what he was going to do. Yes. That's what I was going to do. What would you do now? now. Exactly. What do I do now? Um, what I would do now, first of all, I don't know if I would even get married. What? First, first of all... Oh, uh, baby, I'm getting married. First right on that No shade. Sunset. I want to have... <laughs> white I, I, I do want to have, you know, the party. Not, okay. Not the little ceremony, but I do want to have the party. Okay. Party. The party, cause that's cause let's let's face it. Yeah, nowadays, most marriages, like you know, are about the wedding party. That whole party about the wedding, cause the you, cause eventually the marriage falls apart in, oh. in a lot of cases. And you better be giving out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> marriage. So <laughs> percentage. Let's be. Let's just be real. Like, I want to have the party. So, like, if we're gonna be like we're gonna be together for a while, let's have a party. If we are together, well into our sixties and seventies, we party at that, at that point in time. <laughs> because now we are old that? and shit done fell and shit don't work right no more. Hopefully, it does still. We can get married because now I'm gonna need you if I case I fall and break a hip, or if you die. I need to collect your um your life insurance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I want to be seventy soon doing the Willie battles. I mean, if okay, if I was to get married again, no, would I would I do the hyphen? Probably not. I'll probably keep my last name. Hmm. We can just keep my last name just the way. Because I'm thinking right now, way my what legacy can go on. That other person's last name would sound like attached to mine. Well, girl, if you it it, it, it sounds a little weird, but well, listen. Because think of it this way. You've had your name your entire Forever. life. Forever. <laughs> so that's the only name you've ever heard was exactly. da da da. 
or dot dot. Is it dot dot or dot dot dot? Dot dot. Dot dot. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're dot dot. <laughs> you know, first name, last name. Oh, oh okay. okay. Thank you. Because I'm like, what the hell? Are they, they understood what the fuck I was talking about. Thank you. No, they didn't. Because some Did of them. Are, yes, no, I did. No. Yes, I did. Some of, some of our kidding. viewers and some of our listeners was with me. They was clueless as to what the hell y'all was talking about. I knew okay. what Kevin was talking about. Dot, dot. dot okay. Dot, 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 so your dot. name is Len Shake and Bake. <laughs> I can't. So you've had that name all of your life. <laughs> Yes, Len Shakerbeck. <laughs> so you can't go from being All right, Len... Kevin Rooster. So, yes. Um, so, oh, I like you like that name. I will walk around all day. That's Mr. Shakerbeck. Mr. Shakerbeck. <laughs> so, um, oh, girl, I got to see. <laughs> so, okay. So, but, so you've gone your whole entire life as being Len Shakerbeck. Right? Can y'all stop laughing? <laughs> Okay. So you now you you marry this person, and their last name is Crocker. So now you become <laughs> Lead Chicken Bay Crocker. Again. Now that sounds funny because <laughs> now it's something new for you. I'm I'm being dead serious about this shit. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, to sum it up, like I said. <laughs> No matter what happens, you're gonna. No matter who, what the person's last name is, it's always gonna sound funny to you initially. Because, like I said, you've had your name your entire life. Girl, fuck you, bitches. I'm done. <laughs> no. Can y'all get it together? <laughs> okay. Oh, you are in tears, literally. So am I. Wait. Yeah, I wish you guys could see it. Oh, DJ oh. is literally in tears. <laughs> Wipe them tears, honey. Wipe them tears. He's oh, let's sh- shake a big cracker. Because <laughs> he very many uh, cracker. <laughs> it's a- All right. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my God. Ah, break it down, break it down, break it down. Um, Kevin, you have never been that funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. You, you tried, tried it. it. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> you really tried it. Oh. Okay, Kevin Rooster. I like that name. Um, okay. It's my new porn name. <laughs> <laughs> on that pole. Uh, I can't. Get. Oh, hold on. Even better. <laughs> D Rooster. Yes, D Rooster. <laughs> That's it. I turned up. I'm doing it. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Oh, my God. What would you do now? What would you do now? What would I do now? Only because... My name gotta flow. Like I'm, it gotta stay with mine. You back with this shit, right? <laughs> it gotta stay with mine. If it don't flow, it could be yours. If it flow all the way, all the way together, it could be ours. But so currently you're on hours, or you're you're iffy about the hours. I mean, at one I, point I definitely say hours. You definitely say hours. At one point I was going to do hours. Mm-hmm. Now, it'd be one thing if it was somebody with the same... Oh, same bitch, thing. I just caught on. Okay, I just... I just remember. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I Lucy see. Pearl? <laughs> oh, girl, I'm going to test that for that. Like I said, if it was at the same aspect as, like, my last relationship where we both had the same last name, it would be no problem. Mm. But I still go with the hours. Hyphen. Yeah. Okay. Hyphen. Oh. So, DJ is ours. Teddy P is skating the fence. And Diva is mine. Diva's damn, that's mine. A, that sounds like such a damn Diva answer. Okay. It's all about me. It's all about you. It's all about me. Um, go to our Facebook page. Uh, Facebook.com backslash the T N Y C. That's T H A T N Y C. Because you know DJ can't spell. Exactly. And let us know what you guys think um, as far as what would you do? Would it be yours, mine, or ours? Also, of I want to be Mr. Rooster. <laughs> Leave your comments below <laughs> as well. Because um, I can't deal with you. You've completely thrown my whole mind off course. Is there is any- see, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, fellas, is there anything else you want to say before we go? Um, yeah, because we need to go. We need to get into these Grammys. Yes, we, need we do. Because Chef Busy, I think, is almost done. Mm-hmm. Um, getting it in, in the kitchen, on them grills, and them skillets, and whatnot. 
Chef is about to get a new, nap, new last name. Just saying. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, so before we go, though, make sure, of course, you guys listen every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. and Ooh, again at 8 yes. p.m. <laughs> oh, biscuits! I'm sorry, y'all. I love biscuits. Look, do you see them? They not even. Oh, oh. Mmm. Oh, I, mm, I, I love, love having biscuits. garlic bread. We uh, yeah. I'm supposed to be making garlic bread. What are you doing? Shit. It's okay. Okay. Now. I'll do them on the biscuits. I'm make a, the biscuits. I'll do them on the biscuits. Um, but anyway, make sure y'all watch every Tuesday. Excuse me. Listen. Listen every Tuesday, 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Liberated Audio, where we drop bars. Yes. So um, download the Live 365 app and then search for Liberated Audio. Um, or the TuneIn app. The, or the TuneIn app. Um, and as always, for YouTube, every Monday on YouTube, it's usually up by like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, hit that no subscribe button. Exactly. Share it. Boom. Like us. Wow. Comment to us. We we write back. We we, we do write back all it's, the time. It's definitely one of us writing back. Oh, definitely. Um, and then of course go to our Instagram page. You can check out the fashion I talked about today. That's T H A underscore letter T N Y C. Um, on Instagram, turn that blue button green. Like. Turn that cherry up. Comment. We follow back. <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna put this in you in a minute. Also, just in case if you guys don't know, um, our personal Instagrams are always below in the description box below. And in the credits. And in the credits. And for our radio listeners, I am DRK underscore Prince85. Teddy P. I am at Teddy underscore P underscore 31. And I'm at Scorn Scorpio, S S K O R N E D S C O R P I O. You better swear. Yeah. Okay, this bitch can't spell it. You were supposed to end it with Scorn Scorpio. Just yes. like they do in the spelling bees. <laughs> yes. Okay, fellas. And I guess that's it. That's it? That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. The tea, tea has, has been served. served. Ooh, See one. y'all. Right. And hear y'all. Next week. Next week. Peace. Later, Bills.